What's up everybody? Sega Man 721 back here with another video. This is part pickup video and this is part trade video I did with uh, one of my great friends on YouTube which is uh, Sire649. Um, I don't think he did his video yet. He'll probably do it later but uh, I want to get this video here going. I'm going to show you my pickups and then I'm going to show you my trade I did with uh, my friend Chris Sire649 on YouTube. Check him out. He's a cool dude. So, I went to the flea market uh, these past, I think it was, yeah, last weekend uh, and the weekend before that. And the flea market really hasn't been having much things right now because down here it's still kind of cold and uh, the outside part hasn't opened up to the flea market yet. But um, from what I did find was pretty decent. Last weekend, my friend, his name is Harm, Harlem, he was outside. It was a little nice. It wasn't that nice, but I got two games off of him. And they charged me it was only two for three dollars. And this game, it's um, <laughs> it's a GameCube game, and I didn't know this character had its his own game. But it says Pig, uh, Piglet's Big Movie, then it says Slash Game. So I picked this up for the uh, GameCube to add to my GameCube collection. I didn't know he had a game. But he's from the Winnie the Pooh series, and I picked that up. Uh, I don't think it has the book. Uh, I didn't try it out yet. No, it doesn't have the book. The disc, I believe, is in, yeah, flawless condition. But the two games he gave me wasn't bad two for three dollars and the next one he gave me is for the PlayStation 2 it is uh, Tokyo Extreme Racer 3 for the uh, PlayStation 2 uh, I'm gonna try this game out for my PlayStation 2 the Tokyo Extreme games were also on the Dreamcast I believe yeah and uh, I liked them on the Dreamcast and I'm gonna try them out for the PlayStation 2 and that is complete so hopefully that, that's pretty good so we'll we'll see if that uh, it's pretty good for the PlayStation 2. These next few games I got here is for a very old system. These, these games are probably older than you, the people that watch this. Some of the people that watch this, um, you probably were still inside your mom's little belly there, or even a, still a little sperm tadpole that are gamers now, because I've been gaming for a very, very long time and collecting for a long time and have pretty much a lot of systems. You might not even know about this, but there are some of my viewers that do know about this because they've been collecting for a long time, too. And these games are for the Odyssey uh, 2. And this is Invaders from uh, Hyperspace. Um, I got, yeah, four of these, four for uh, five bucks at the um, flea market. So I might be hooking up my Odyssey 2 here to check these games out. And uh, these were just, it was, I mean, these games are older, but there was just a little bit more pride when they made these games. You know what I mean? Art design and stuff. So I'll be checking that out here soon. The only thing that was bad about these, you had to really watch because they were cardboard boxes. And uh, you really just had to be careful with the boxes or you can break them. You know what I mean? Another one here is called... Uh, let me see what's this. It's arm, Armed Force. It's another one. Picked up for the Odyssey 2. Uh, it's called Blockout Breakdown. It's another one I picked up for the Odyssey 2. Add that to the collection. And the last one here is uh, Cosmic Conflict for the Odyssey 2. And uh, all these are complete in, in their little cardboard box, so glad to add it to the old school collection. Another thing I picked up there for a dollar, I like this controller. It's for the PlayStation 2 because it, it's actually cool. It reminds me of an Xbox controller. It's the Dual Force 2 by Pelican. Picked that up for a buck. So actually, I think today I'm going to try this out with this Tokyo Extreme 3. It's just better to me hold wise and I just I like controllers that are shaped like this better. I, I'm not really digging the way the controls are for the PlayStations. You know, the I mean I wish they would make it different, maybe look more like an Xbox controller. It's just my opinion. I don't like where these are. 
You know what I mean? But, um, you know, it is what it is. You know, that's their, their own way of doing their controller, and that's fine. You just have to get used to it, you know? But I don't have to like it. But I'm going to try this out probably later on today. A couple more games here. Uh, I picked up uh, for a dollar at the flea market. A lady had a Ben. Uh, I didn't have this in my collection, so I'm glad to add it. It is uh, Ghost Recon 2. That was a dollar from the flea market. That's complete. Uh, I thought I had this in my collection, but I don't. It is uh, Splinter Cell for the X original Xbox. I was happy to get that for a dollar, man. I couldn't pass that up. Complete. And the last, but well, not last but not least, but this is a uh, 2K Sports College Hoops. I wanted to add a 2K uh, uh, Hoops game to my Xbox 360, so I picked this up for a dollar. And yeah, it's uh, 2K8 uh, College Hoops, and uh, I tried it out. It's okay. There's nothing wrong with sports games, guys. You know what I mean? You just gotta give them a chance. You know what I mean? It's not bad, especially for a dollar. It's not bad at all. Last game, I did a trade. And I already beat this game already. It's a brand new game. I'm very addicted to this game. I'm still playing it. And to me, it got a lot of criticism. People just criticized today's systems game so much about how it looks and the glitches and whatever. A lot of these new games that come out. You know, they want to get the game out to you guys so you enjoy the game. And sometimes they're going to have glitches. And that's why these systems today have patches, you know. You know, stop crying and whining all the time about video games. I mean, these guys today are ridiculous. Uh -huh, they cry and whine about frame rate and glitches and shit. I mean, they just complain so much. You know what I mean? They're a bunch of, to me, a lot of them are a bunch of crybabies. And there's, all, there's a bunch of gamers out there that are, that are not crybabies. But to me, there's more crybabies, and that's a shame. You know, they want to nitpick about every fucking thing that comes out because they have nothing better to do. Go play your game. Stop bitching and whining about everybody else and what they play. You know what I mean? And stop trolling people. You know, get a life. But I'm enjoying this game. It is Mass Effect Andromeda for the Xbox One. I beat it yesterday. It's a great, great game. Very addicting game. It's a great game. You know what I mean? It is awesome. I like the Mass Effect uh, series. I have them all. And this is a great game. It looks good. It plays good. There's a lot longevity in this. You can explore all kind of worlds. There's still stuff that you have to do even after you beat the game. So it's well worth the 60 bucks. I only paid 20 bucks because I did a trade. But it is well worth the money to buy this game. And they're probably going to be adding to it. So, stop bitching and whining. If you like Mass Effect, pick it up. It's a great game. And last but not least, trade I did with my buddy, Chris Sire 649 um, I sent him some things I'm not going to say. He'll show it in his video later. But, um, I'm glad to get this. Because he knows I love Sega Genesis. And I wanted to add this to my um, Sega Genesis collection because I don't don't have one and I'm really liking it man and I'm really digging it man you know what I mean there's a couple things I don't like about it and I'll tell you about that in a minute actually one thing I don't like about the rest is great you know what I mean and um, it is the um, Sega Genesis Ultimate Portable Game Player right here and he sent it to me in the box, and that's awesome. Chris is he's a really good friend. You know what I mean? We've been trading for years. Uh, you know, we always talk and stuff like that about the games we're playing and what we're doing. He's just a really close friend of mine. And uh, I'm really happy to get this, man. It's, it's awesome. It's an awesome little system. Let me open it up for you. Show you. It's pretty cool. This is it. It's a little white little system. It's pretty awesome. What I really like about this, okay, I have a retro bit. It's a little -er handheld that you can put the tapes in and also have the original Nomad. But what I like about this 
to be honest with you too. It has a lot of great old school Genesis games in it. And you don't have to put a tape in. This is great to take when you're going on a trip or you're in the car. You don't have to put no tapes in. It's awesome. You can get a flash, flash memory. You can download games for it and stuff like that. It's awesome. Now let me turn it off for you real quick. Probably not going to see it because of the glare. But it's um, it's awesome. You know, it has all the all the uh, old school games in it. Probably can't see it because of the glare. Let me see. Arrow Flash. There's all kind of games in here. R original uh, Genesis games in there. And it also added Mortal Kombat. Uh, Mortal Kombat. Um, I did play the Mortal Kombat's too. Uh, yeah, Mortal Kombat uh, 3. Mortal Kombat, Mortal Kombat 2, and Mortal Kombat 3. That's just as fucking awesome. It's a great little system, man. It works perfectly. Um, there's two things that I don't like about it. I will say this. I think with all the games that they did put in this system, which is um, <clears throat> 80 built-in games, it's actually 40 Genesis games. And the other 40 are these ridiculous... <laughs> Stupid, they're kind of like dumbed down like games, shovelware games. You know, that's that's cool, you know, kind of. But that's the back of the box. You know what I mean? Down the bottom here is all them shovelware games. You know, and on the side there you see, uh, you know, some of the Mortal Kombat games. And it added uh, the Sonic games down the bottom here. Sonic 2 and all that. Yeah, that's cool and everything. But... The only thing I don't like about that is that those shovelware games are just ridiculous. And the sound. Some of the games have the original sound from the original cartridge, but some of them don't. They sound off. And I don't know if it's because of the compression of all the games they put in there and they had to dumb down this, the sound chip in this for the system. But if it's forty dollars, it's still forty dollars today, but it's it's worth it. It's really worth it because you get forty original games, you know, for forty bucks. You know what I mean? Eighty. You get eighty games, but that's like I said, that's a shovelware. But it's worth the forty dollars to put down just for the forty Genesis games. I'm glad to add this to my collection. Again, thank you, Chris. Really appreciate it, man. Um that's all I do have for now, guys. Gonna get back to playing some more mass and mass effect here probably later on today. Um, haven't been really picking up a whole lot of stuff, you know. I've been really busy, so I will definitely be back with another video though. Not telling when. Uh, I might be on some stuff I'm gonna review and things like that. You know. Uh, thanks everybody for subscribing and watching my videos. I do always appreciate it and all the comments. Thank you so much. If you have one of these, let me know what uh, what one you have. And uh, and if you enjoy it or not, let me know in the comments below. Thanks, everybody, for watching. This is Sega721, out.